So you are here for the great uh, BIM versus GIS debate. My name is Matt Ball. I'm editor of V1 Magazine. It's an online publication with the tagline, Spatial Design for a Sustainable Tomorrow. We cover a lot of infrastructure issues. Um, we cover kind of the CAD, uh, GIS, and BIM convergence. And if you're not a reader, this is a plug. If you're not a reader, we, we would love to you know, have, us, have you check us out. We've got a weekly e-newsletter and uh, a lot of good content um, regarding kind of the, the mix of vendors in this space. Um, with us, we have uh, Mike Schlosser, um, who is an Autodesk Technical Specialist. He's located in uh, Saskatchewan and has better than 20 years' experience in, in the uh, CAD, GIS, and now BIM fields, um, spatial experience. And uh, Pete Southwood, who has 30 years' experience. And if you weren't here for the warm-up, uh, it's, <laughs> it's all about one-upmanship, who has more slides, uh, who talks louder, whose microphone's louder, and uh, who has the better, the better ideas. So be prepared. Um, I'm going to give you kind of an overview of the, the topics that we're going to cover today. And the format for the session is an open forum. I'll have this wireless microphone. I'll be walking around. Once our panelists have an opportunity to answer the question, we want uh, your feedback or comments. Um, so just raise your hand and I'll, I'll work the room. And hopefully we'll get a lot of, a lot of good things covered and uh, kind of frame, frame this debate um, ongoing. And I think everyone's practical experience in the room is going to be really important for where the technology heads. Um, so we'll be looking to you for that guidance. Um, so to start, we're going to define the technologies. Um, each presenter has some slides. Those are the only slides in the session. Just kind of outline their take on the two different um, technologies. We're going to spend some time defining the users. Um, it's a lot, of the, a lot of the issues in the defining differences between the technologies, I think, probably pin on, on workflows and how the users are tackling the technology. And we're going to talk a little about, about models um, everything seems to be moving in that model-based view, and uh, we'll frame those in terms of the, the two different technology sets. Then we'll start, talk a little bit about uh, engineering accuracy um, and issues that, that, that uh, fall within the infrastructure space. We'll talk a little bit about analysis. Um, hopefully we'll hit collaboration and how the tools can facilitate that. And then some of these last subjects, we'll see if we get to them. But um, improved efficiency, um, I think that's an important driver. Uh, data integration, and data access. So if, if we might kick off with the slides, we'll have Mike, Mike take us through his definition of them. Great. Thank you, Matt. Hi, Pete. Good morning. I'm going to be speaking on the pro side of BIM, and uh, my colleague Pete Southwood is going to be speaking on the pro side of GIS. And before I actually dive into this, I just get kind of a show of hands. How many people uh, know what GIS is, understand GIS very well? Fabulous. Who doesn't know what GIS is? Great. So, so I think that's it then. We'll have uh, <laughs> 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 to have the rest of the morning. Hey, you. Just wait. You're going to get your sure. today. How many people know what BIM is, understand BIM? How many people do not know what BIM is? All right. 